Sophia, I have ordered a book through the internet. When will it reach to me? Romy, you have not ordered book through the internet, but you have ordered it from some website. Website? Is there any difference between website and internet? Yes, Romy. Let us learn about this in the chapter. Internet is a network that consists of computers connecting them throughout the world. Internet started as ARPANET that connected just four computers of the U.S. Department of Defense and now it connects thousands of computers throughout the world. The Internet usage is increasing day by day and is becoming a vital part of our lives. Let us start with the history of Internet. History of the Internet Let us briefly trace the footprints of the Internet over the expanse of time. It was started in the Pentagon, the U.S. Department of Defense. A networking project called ARPA, or Advanced Research Projects Agency, was launched, which had to work as a network that would allow scientists and military personnel to exchange information in a war scenario without disruption in communication. This network is called ARPANET. It became functional in September 1969, linking scientific and academic researchers in the United States. Researchers and academics in other fields began to make the use of the network. In 1986, National Science Foundation, NSF, connected its huge network of five supercomputer centers called NSFNet to ARPANET. This configuration of complex networks became the Internet. Later, thousands of cooperating networks participated in the Internet and their main goal was to develop and maintain high-speed network for research and education. The Internet has been improved through the developments of such services as WWW, World Wide Web and also continues to grow as an information, creative and commercial resource every day all over the world. Working of the Internet Computers connected through Internet work together to transfer data and information around the world using servers and clients. A server is a computer that manages the resources on a network and provides a centralized storage area for resources such as programs and data. A client is a computer that can access the contents of the storage area on the server. For example, our computer is a client that can access files and services on a variety of servers, called the host computers. On the Internet, several main communication lines carry the heaviest amount of traffic. These communication lines are collectively referred to as the Internet backbone. The Internet is a packet-oriented network. It means that the data we transfer is divided into packets. So, when we transfer data across the Internet's various networks, the networks are linked by special computers called routers. A router checks where our packet, which is our data, goes and decides in which direction it should be sent by using the address called the IP or the Internet Protocol. The data transferred through IP is divided in packets. This is handled by another protocol, the TCP, Transmission Control Protocol. IP addresses are just numbers that are easy to handle for computers, but not for humans. So the domain name system was introduced in 1984. The domain name is the location of the person's account on the Internet. Internet Service Provider, ISP an ISP is a company that supplies internet connectivity to home and business customers. ISPs support one or more forms of internet access ranging from traditional modem dial-up to DSL and cable modem broadband service. Most recently, wireless internet service providers or WISPs have emerged to offer Internet access through wireless LAN, local area network or wireless broadband connectivity. 
There are several ISPs in India like VSNL, Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited, Airtel, Jio, Excitel and many more that offer different services and benefits at different costs. Uses of the Internet Internet has revolutionized the living and working style of human beings. It has reduced a person's effort and time. It is very beneficial to all for gaining knowledge as well as increasing income with minimum input. It has the ability to provide information within no time at the doorstep. Basically, the Internet is a network of networks which connects various computers to handle from one place. Nowadays, the effects and benefits of the Internet can be felt and seen all over the world. Let us learn about some of the uses of the Internet. Email. The full form of email is electronic mail. This is the most popular form of electronic communication that allows us to get in touch with people from any corner of the world within a few seconds. To use email service, we need to have an email account. Every email account has a unique email address. The email address further has a username and a domain name of the service provider. For example, skumar at the rate gmail.com. It is an email address. In this address, skumar is the username and gmail.com is the server name or domain name. Email lets us exchange messages with text, pictures, videos and audios among various other forms. Advantages of email Inexpensive Email is a very low-cost means of communication as compared to other forms like sending letters by post or courier. Speedy delivery Email is delivered almost instantly whereas other modes take time for delivery. Convenient Email is very convenient to send as all we need is an email account and an internet connection. We can send the message to any part of the world using an email. Time saver. Email saves a lot of time as it is very fast and requires less time. There are many email service providers that allow us to create an email account for free. We can create a free email account on them by choosing an email address and password. Some popular service providers include Google Gmail, Yahoo Yahoo Mail, and Microsoft Hotmail. Instant Messaging Services Chat Chatting means textual communication between two or multiple users in real time. It is a very popular way to communicate online. Slack, Microsoft Teams and Google Chat are some popular online chatting services. Video Conferencing Video conferencing is a mode of communication that lets two or more people communicate with each other via audio and video transmission in any part of the world. Computer networks are used to send audio and video data around the world. Business meetings, conferences, educational trainings, etc. can be arranged easily using video conferencing. A webcam, computer screen and microphones are required for video conferencing. Jabber, Webex Meetings, Skype, Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting and Zoom are some examples of video conferencing software. Advantages of Video Conferencing Video conferencing enables business meetings to be conducted over the Internet. This saves travel time and other expenses. This also helps conduct meetings at short notices. Medical problems can be discussed with doctors on video conferencing. This saves travel and waiting time also. Long distance education programs can be conducted through video conferencing. This makes education easy and accessible. Search engines. To search information on the internet, we need a search engine. Search engine is a software that is designed to search the web pages for the information on a specified topic. We type the keywords of the topic we want to get information on and the search engine displays links related to the topic. Some powerful search engines like Google, Yahoo, 
wiki.com and Bing help us locate this required information within seconds by searching the World Wide Web, www. Specialized search engines like Nokri.com, LinkedIn, Glassdoor and Career Builder allow people to search online for jobs. Business Online Products and Services It is possible to locate almost any type of goods or services via internet-based search engines. The internet has triggered a boom at a global level by enabling companies to sell their products and services online. Powerful e-commerce portals such as eBay, Flipkart, Amazon, Shopclose, Jabong, India Mart and Mintra allow users to buy products. Online booking has made the things really easy. Be it a film ticket or a flight ticket, we can book just about anything using the internet. Online booking sites such as irctc.co.in, yatra.com and makemytrip.com allow users to book travel tickets online, sitting in the comfort of their home. The process is very easy, fast and convenient. Social networking Today, people who have same interests can build online communities to share information with each other. This is known as social networking. A service provider of this type is known as a social networking site. One can chat, play games, connect with friends and family on a social networking site. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram and LinkedIn are some examples of social networking sites. We can also connect with our favorite film actors and celebrities using a social networking site. Even the police are known to use these programs in locating elusive suspects or enlist the help of social media users in identifying unclaimed bodies by uploading their photographs. Entertainment Video streaming websites enable users to view films online. Besides, websites like YouTube have brought to viewers a vast variety of hobby activities, films or clips, teaching programs and tutorials which can be watched through online videos. Furthermore, there are numerous online gaming sites that offer free entertainment for Internet users. Real-time updates Online news portals allow users to view the latest updates happening around the world as soon as the content is published on the web. Besides, users can also use real-time video streaming to watch their favorite programs and shows online, like live cricket matches, live shows and performances. Education the Internet has facilitated the evolution of a whole new dimension of education called e-learning, wherein students and teachers can interact together on a common platform by means of a virtual classroom. Online course materials, self-paced tutorials, online tests and quizzes as well as simulations and games provide a variety of learning experience that makes learning fun and fruitful. Cyber Ethics When using the Internet and its various applications, like a social networking site, one must be very careful while uploading the content, as this can lead to cyberbullying or harassment. One should always follow precautions and not indulge in such acts. One should take care of the following things while using the Internet. Do not post everything and anything happening in your life. The Internet is a public resource and is used by a lot of people around the world. Do not add strangers on your social network. Make a strong password to ensure that no one can hack your profile. Do not indulge in cyberbullying. Do not believe everything you read online. Block and report anyone who indulges in inappropriate communication. If someone threatens you or makes you feel uncomfortable, immediately report to your teacher or parent. Limit the usage of such sites. Tectionary Internet, a network that consists of computers connecting them throughout the world. Search Engine 
a software that is designed to search the web pages for the information on the specified topic. Video conferencing, a mode of communication that lets two or more people communicate with each other via audio and video transmission in any part of the world. Let's refresh. Search engine is used to search for information on the internet. Video conferencing is used to communicate with two or more people using audio-video transmission. The fastest and the most common way to send messages is an email. Chat is used to communicate in real time with other users. Social network is used to communicate with friends and family. Adequate precautions should be maintained while using the internet.